47 or more year old audio. Let's check it out. Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here, and it is time for a contest entry. And yes, we're going to be delving ever so briefly into this cassette tape that dates back to my childhood. And there's a clip on here that's going to tell a little more of the story that we're going to be telling today um, that I'm estimating is at least 47-ish years old. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell my story in a way that has never been told before. You've heard the story, I'm sure, many times for many contests, many threads, many uh, just general ideas of how I got into rock and roll. But in this case, we're going to go a little more in depth, more than you've ever probably heard before, for sure, with the audio clip. However, this is for a contest entry for Mickey. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. I just discovered his channel through this contest, which is how we always get excited about Con doing contests because it's a way to spread the news and learn about new channels. He is pushing to a thousand subscribers. He was under 900 when the contest started uh, a little more, almost two weeks ago. He is now over 900, so he's pushing to a thousand. I learned about this from uh, Gary, physical format, rock and roll, and um, I'm going to be dealing with the same band that he dealt with, but again, in a different angle than I've done before. And I'm going to connect it to Mickey's channel in a way that will be, I think, interesting. We'll get to that at the end. Um, Mickey is a younger member of the VC. Um, he plays a lot of guitar videos. He plays guitar. He has a new album that's just dropping now, or just dropped, I guess, actually. Um, and I see all the records on his wall. shows that he must have been brought up by somebody like me. <laughs> his father probably listened to the great music, too. Uh, and so he's just got all the classics and he listens to a lot of that stuff. So here's the topic. We're talking Kiss. Kiss was the first love, my first band that I got into as a preteen that, uh, and I've shown this before, how Love Gun was the first album I bought and everything. But we're going to go back a little further on how I really discovered them to tell the story. Now, going back and the clip that we're going to hear is, and I'm going to play that in between, intermingled in between here, but the clip I'm going to be playing is related to Kiss Alive 1. Now this album was in 75. I have to assume, and this is where the guesstimation comes in with the date of the tape, that the tape itself was had to have been shot in somewhere between 76 and 77, which would put me somewhere between 10 and 11 years old. I'm basing that on the fact that when this album came out and when the rest of the story happened, as well as the house that this was recorded in, I remember this day very vividly and I it for some reason it stuck out of my mind but so here's what you're gonna hear my cousin and I we used to record everything in the tape recorder this tape has all kinds of silly stuff I've listened to a part of it this morning and it's got like me playing songs from the radio saying hey if you enjoy good music listen to this and it's got songs like seasons in the sun and and why can't we be friends and stuff like that so anyway I, I walk into my brother and my stepbrother's rooms. And they're both in there playing this album. I assume this album is playing. And here in the background, they talk about Detroit and stuff, but it may not be the same album, but they are reading this. My brother is mumbling something, and, I'm and I ask him, what are you reading? So first thing you hear, though, is my cousin saying, there's this one guy that's got all these spikes all over him. And then he says, there he is, which, you know, talking about that. So then I'm like, what are you reading? And then there's mumble, mumble, and then I'm, I'm mumbling, mumbling, and then you'll hear me distinctly say, thanks for helping me get off, which is the end line of Ace Frehley's letter right there. What are you reading? And then there's another one where you'll hear my brother barely say something about hello cat people and then I read it, you know, it says hi cat people. Hi cat people. I can't. That's about all the audio that really is, is decipherable from this very old tape, but you'll tell that we walk in on them while they're reading this and I'm reading it over their shoulder. 
So that's my middle, my older brother. I have two brothers that are older, and he's the one right above me, and then there's one above him. So it's my middle brother. I'm the youngest. This is where I first saw, I believe, anything that had to do with them. And I don't remember anything other than I remember seeing the inside. I don't really remember much about it. My cousin pointed out the spikes. Now, we fast forward a little bit of time. I'm at a friend's house. It may have been connected to that because maybe I remember that. I don't know. At a friend of mine's house, whose sister is my brother's friend, same age group, and his sister, her sister, had Kiss Alive too. And my friend, who's my age, had listened to it and thought that, you know, Ace Frehley sounded funny singing Shock Me. It sounds like he's drunk. Yeah, he probably is. But so I remember, distinctly remember, sitting in her bedroom listening to Shock Me from Kiss Alive 2. It was just something we kind of were making fun of. I don't know how it impacted me or nothing, but at some point I got intrigued enough by this band Kiss that I went out and with my brother's help again, same brother, um, and mother, I guess somebody must have taken me to the store and somehow I bought Love Gun. And I remember coming home that night from wherever we got it. I'm thinking we got this at like Montgomery Wards or something if you're familiar with that store. Because I remember buying a lot of records at Montgomery Wards back in the day. I bought all the solo albums at Mon Montgomery Wards. I remember that. I bought Kiss Alive 2 at Montgomery Wards. Montgomery Wards. If you've ever heard of that, I don't think they're in business anymore. Uh, but anyway, bought this album. Again, my brother was there. My brother brought me home and taught me all the four guys' names. I put the record on the turntable. My brother takes this and goes into the dining room and sits down and draws this picture. My brother is a very good artist. Most of us in the family can draw pretty well, but he always excelled at that. And he drew a, an exact replica, replica of this at, you know, just mainly their upper torso. He just sat there and drew that. So while we're listening to the music in the house, he's drawing it. I'm listening to it. I'm examining the liner notes, everything. So that puts this at, this came out in 77. So that puts that, and the live album was already out before I bought this. So I'm, I'm pushing this into most likely late 77, early 78. Again, so I'm, I'm around not quite 12. I'm still around 11 at this point because I'm sure it's probably earlier in the year. Maybe later in the year, so that would have been past my July birthday. So, jump forward about another year. The very first concert I ever go to, and my brother takes me with his girlfriend. Again, same brother. As we go see Kiss 1979 in July before my 13th birthday. So I'm still 12. It is a few weeks before I turn 13. And my brother and his girlfriend take me to see Kiss in uh, 1979. So I'm, like I say, 12 years old. So in, within a couple years, I discover them as a younger and then a, later buy them myself and then get into them from here. So that is a little more of my story uh, with the sound clips. And the connection is that my older brother's name is Mickey. <laughs> so this contest for Mickey involves my brother, Mickey. Of course, his name's Michael, but as a kid, we always called him Mickey. I still call him Mickey. I don't care if he's 60-something years old now. But um, So my brother, Mickey, was very influential, at least in holding my hand going through this. So there you go. Contest for Mickey. Push him to 1,000. Jump on board. It's a very easy thing. Just tell one story. The other two parts are on the honor system. you got to do something nice for somebody and talk to a somebody you haven't talked to in quite a while, relative, or someone you haven't reached out to in a while. Um, so yeah, we do those on, on our own. And that's the end of this contest. Jump on board and uh, support this and check out the video below, his link below to get all the contest rules. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.